All right, guys, I'm back again. And uh, today's topic is going to be why one should do, shouldn't do public health in Australia. And now this question has been asked from me time and again. And today, in the next five minutes, I'm going to tell you why you should not be doing a degree in public health in Australia, particularly if you're a doctor or a nurse and you're trying to come down to Australia to get a PR or get yourself registered as a medical practitioner now a few things number one uh, i'll give you reasons why you shouldn't be doing this thing number one is that public health is not in this skilled occupation list now there are some positions which are shown in the skilled occupation list such as primary health organization manager and medical administrator however doing a degree in public health will not make you eligible for those occupations because those occupations also have to have post qualification experience so if you do a degree in australia but you won't have post qualification experience therefore you won't be eligible number one number two now you'd say okay maybe i'll do the degree i'll get a dr for a couple of years and then i can find a job now the problem with public health jobs in Australia or Australia in general is that the health industry is highly subsidized and organized and regulated by the government. So most of the things organizations run under the government setup. So if you want to get a job in public health, most likely as a public health officer or a health promotion manager or something along those lines or a health administrator, those jobs are going to be public hospital, public set based jobs. Approximately 80% to 90% of those jobs are public jobs. Now, to get into the public jobs or public hospital based jobs or government jobs, you need to have an Australian permanent residency or Australian citizenship. Given you're an international student who's coming to Australia, you don't have that. And neither you have the experience to back it up, so therefore most likely you won't find that job. Number three, is that what if I get a job in that sector? Yeah, you may get a job in that sector, but it's highly improbable because uh, number one, you'll have stiff competition with the local people. 90% of the jobs, 80% of the jobs, you're not eligible either or anyway. And number three, the job that you may get will... Uh, it will probably not go on for very long. You may get a six-month contract, you may get a three-month contract or a nine-month contract. That won't be in a position to give you enough experience to qualify for the post-graduate uh, work, work-based assessment that goes through the assessing bodies. So I do not recommend you doing it. Public health degrees are very expensive. So you're looking at like thirty-five to forty thousand dollars a year for two years or maybe a one year degree, whatever you're going for, but that's a lot of money. So therefore, please do not do a public health degree in Australia. Now, what degree do should I do? Like you'd ask me. Um, well, I recommend if you really want to get into a public health career, then develop your technical skills. Then if you want to do a degree anyway, regardless of the PR, then do maybe a master's in statistics. Stat jobs in statistics are quite a, quite a few. And there are very few statisticians in Australia. So you may get into uh, that particular occupation and get get a job over here. However, again, it won't lead to a PR. Maybe the job sponsors you if you're lucky. Yeah, I don't know. Try your luck. Or only do public health degree if you want to get into a PhD, as I did. So I did a public health degree, but I wanted to get into PhD. So I developed my research skills and went into the PhD. So if that's your career objective or your career goal, then yeah, then I would recommend doing it. But if your career goal is finishing off, finishing off the public health degree and getting into the setup, then forget it. All right. Thank you very much for watching my other videos. If you have any questions, uh, please ask me in the comments. I'll endeavor to answer them. And if you have any, uh, if you if you need to know any more questions or you want me to make videos on something else, please subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments and I'll endeavor my best to make videos on that topic. Thank you. Bye.